we just left uh, Canyon's funeral, and um, so we'd like to talk about him because um, he had passed away earlier in the week. He uh, took his own life. When, we, when I looked in the casket, I told you, like I kept waiting for him to start chuckling and start laughing, like he couldn't hold it in anymore, like he was ribbing us. Well, yeah, I thought, I, I seriously thought, like when I touched him, I, I, that he was gonna go. Boom. He was asexual. Like he right. just he just didn't have any interest in sex. I figured he had no game, you know, because he had the lisp. You know what I mean? Right. And I figured he wasn't into chicks because he never hit on them. You know, because I used to be into him a lot. It's okay. It's yeah. a bum fuck. Um, bum fuck. Bum fuck. Fuck tard. I like fuck tard. Personal it's favorite. Just of mine. to the left of shit stain. Are you bisexual? Like Elton John and Boy George were bisexual because it was a nice way of saying you're gay. <laughs> and he goes the thud one. I would call him. He'd call me up or whatnot. I'd go Canyon man. I bang this hot rat man. You'd love her. And he'd go. You fucking idiot! I'm a fucking homo. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, okay. Do you really think that anybody would have cared in the business if he would have just came out and kept it to him? You know, and like as long as he didn't, like, you know, Pat Patterson was. Yeah. He wanted him to come out, you know, by. Right. And uh, but then the male valet fucking rubbed his hand over his cock, and it kind of was like, wait, wait, that might be a little too far. What happened was Vandy had this uh, rat, and uh, it was like this 98 pound crack whore rat, <laughs> and uh, and he put the mortise mask on it, right? It's fucking awesome. Swinger. You're an ass. Oh, and she's buck naked. He says, Johnny Swinger, you're an ass. By the way, here's my ass. He came out to me like 13 years before the rest of the world. I was the only person who knew he was gay forever. And I was referring to the dirty white girl as a parking lot philatrix and, <laughs> and a walking yeast infection. <laughs> hey, Gordon, you want to see my impression of Elvis? He goes, sure. I go, yeah. Oh, they're, they're sheet weasels. They're, they're like, yeah. it was the equivalent of the people that are on message boards now you know, that think they're getting themselves over. They use it to get themselves over to be snarky yeah. and whatnot. But let me, let me what is it? Like, like Bruce Mitchell fucking got kicked out of the ECW arena by Dreamer. Like, Dreamer's like, there's no fucking way you're coming back here. That's the first time I ever met you. You were in with that crew. It was Bully Busick, at We were in together. We didn't work well, together. Abby didn't work in that joint. Like, I was, I was going. It I was, was a working. bunch Listen. of people from Atlanta. Yeah, but oh. none of us, none of us worked together. None of us were in the same company. Well, that just shows you how stupid I was then, because that's what I thought, <laughs> and that's how I still remember it now. It's the fucking shoes. These are heat. Yeah, I wore these to a funeral. <clears throat> the angle. Bischoff told me when he hired me, the day, oh, I, no, when he hired me, he hired me, and it, like a week or two later, I went in to sign the contract, and he said, I just want you to know I'm the guy who, this angle's dead in the water, we've got the NWO, this isn't going to go anywhere, don't buy a house, don't get married, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be the guy to kill managers and tag teams, but we're, you know, we'll give it a shot. And, like, <laughs> and we told Paul, and he popped, and Paul went, Perfect! The Sinister Minister! I remember that. I remember that. You know? But you don't look like a star. He goes, and basically you told me I look like Todd Gordon or something like that, <laughs> which I did. And the fat Todd Gordon. I yeah. came to Dreamer. I said, Dreamer, I'm like trying to cheat, and there really is no cheating. The only che the only way to get heat is to be a baby face. Well, believe it or not, a, I have a sensitive artist neurotic temperament. N you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Whereas so your bedside manner used to really suck. Yeah, I, no, there was no bedside <laughs> you, manner. You just, no, it was just straight prison sex. Yes, <laughs> it was tombside manner. <laughs> like uh, Jerry Jarrett. He would book six months. Jerry Lawler would book six months. Nobody booked a year straight because you'd run out of ideas, you know. But uh, Paulie had, I would say, two to four... Two, uh, two to four solid years of just brilliance before the, you know, the end of uh, the end of uh, ECW. The thing is, is Paulie went against two multi, multi-million dollar companies without a pot to piss in. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say get rid of them, period. I'd say use them once or twice a year, maybe, for the person who's crazy enough to go, I'm willing to risk it, and I know I'm getting First of all, if you know how to throw a chair shot, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. You know, that, that's the thing is nobody knows how to throw a chair shot without hurting a guy. It shouldn't hurt. First, if you know how to bump and you know how to throw one, if you know how to throw it correctly, you can pull it in such a way where the guy is not getting fucking clobbered, okay? That's and here's like one of the things I hate. I don't think anybody knows how to do a fucking promo anymore, and I think sports entertainment has fucked that up. Okay, in the old days, you would have your top guys, they were your The, the light that shines from above! will reveal that I am the one who shall win this fight. 
today. And the other guy says some shit like that. Everybody's going to go fuck you and walk off and leave. No, that's, I would I would pop so that, huge. That's, that's but not for the right reason. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. So nobody has anybody to learn from anymore. You're walking they, around, you see wrestlers in the back and they're doing their own their little kung fu shit. They're going oh, this, 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 this. and they're they're trying to they're, you've seen them they're like yeah, this, 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 boom, boom, boom. Well, explain boom, what that sabi is. Dab. And then... Explain what that is. It's the wrestlers going through their... They're rehearsing in their mind the A, B, C, D... Of their match. Of their match. And they can't swing. They're not playing jazz. <laughs> you know? So they're, they're going... Well, no, but regardless of the jazz, they've set it up in the back. So they're just going... Instead of just going in their mind, going... This, 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 they're going. And you see them, they throw their leg up and they do this. And then while they're doing that, they're trying to walk around while they're doing that and they're going. No, no, they don't do it at the same time. I've seen some people do it. You can't but, do it. But they've waited, in my opinion, until they got the key people in the key positions and the key stories and they got people interested on Thursday and built some momentum where the show was consistently good and then move it over That's to Monday. It's a really good point. Move it over to Monday once they have it. But but now it seems to me, and I don't want to shit on TNA because I want TNA to succeed. And no, I'm not looking for a job. This isn't what it is. I want wrestling to be healthy. If it weren't for him, I would have. You would have never heard of me. I would. It would have stopped at Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Um, he he's directly responsible for the success I had out of wrestling because after I was out of wrestling, he's the guy who said, Vandy. You need to go start singing, do karaoke for a living. And I said, there's no money in that shit. And I didn't believe him. And he insisted that he buy me all the shit to start me up a business. I love Canyon. You know, it's a shame that, uh, you know, Vanny's a big fat douche and a filthy old queen. And uh, go fuck yourself. Smell my finger. <laughs> Third grade.